The time has come for Black 2.0 and Black 3.0 to fight it out to the bitter end to find out which one is the blackest paint. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now if you just watched my video that went up on Friday, you'll know that I reviewed the Black 2.0, which claimed to be the blackest paint in the world. And I was aware that the Black 3.0 was gonna come out and it said it was coming out in September, but it came out before my video even was released. But anyway, I managed to buy some Black 3.0 and I've got it in the studio and I thought I would do a quick side-by-side -side comparison to see if Black 3.0 is actually any better than the 2.0. If you did watch my previous video on this paint here, You'll know that I was very skeptical that it couldn't particularly get any blacker or any matter or any better than what it already was. So I am interested to see if it is actually a step up. I also won't be going into too much detail with it all because I went into a lot of detail for this paint in my last video. So make sure to watch that before you watch this one or watch it afterwards. <laughs> I don't really mind, it's up to you what you do. But yeah, so we're gonna do a little side-by-side -side comparison. Right, so just a little bit of information first. The Black 2.0 I spent 11.99 on and the Black 3.0 I spent 14.99. So it's three pounds more expensive than the 2.0, but it's actually out of stock. I only bought mine not long ago, it was about two days ago, and they had them in stock then, and they've sold out already. Right, so apparently it's due back in, in November this year, 2019. But obviously there's still Black 2.0 if you wanted to buy any of that. And again, this isn't a sponsored video, a branded video, no, nothing like that. It's just a video I wanted to do, okay? So with the Black 3.0, I'm expecting three pounds worth more of black paint matty goodness. Otherwise I'll be very disappointed. And I have to say it came in this cardboard tube which the black 2.0, it didn't come in any packaging, it was just wrapped in bubble wrap. So there's a little bit more care when it comes to 3.0. Feels a little bit more professional. I tore that bit, it didn't come like that, that was me. I'm just a clumsy person. And then you've got the black 3.0 here in the nice pink writing, fantastic, and they're both 150 mils. Right, I'm gonna swatch the 2.0 first, and I still love this paint, I absolutely love the 2.0. It's such a nice paint. Just so creamy, so luxe, so black, so matte. Right, there we go. And then I also wanna dilute it a little bit with some water, very nice. In my last video as well, I mixed the paint with a thickening gel, which I'm not gonna do in this one because quite frankly, it didn't really do a lot anyway. Um, the thickening gel mattifies paint. It works and it's fine, it just, it seemed pointless. Right, so that's black 2.0. That's black 2.0 with water. I've also, I kept the balls that I painted. That's the black 2.0. I've run out of balls though. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna paint on the back of this one. Obviously that's the System 3 paint there. So we'll do the swatches of the black 3.0 now. Right, this is exciting. I do have high hopes because the 2.0 was really good. Right, okay. Straight away I can tell that the 3.0 has a slightly thicker consistency than the 2.0. It's definitely less watery. Mm, maybe I need to shake it. Definitely a thicker paint. It's not as smooth as the 2.0. It's it's more textured. I'm quite surprised actually. I feel like you can see more of the brush strokes. I don't know whether I'm feeling this one, you know. I hate to say it, but I don't know whether I'm that impressed with it. I'll try diluting it with a bit of water, see how that goes. Mixing it with water is nice. It's very smooth, but at the moment, I don't feel like it's the quality of it is as good as the 2.0, weirdly enough. That's strange. It's not what I was expecting at all. Right, so we have our swatches there, and I'm going to paint this ball in the black 3.0 as well. See how that performs and get a different paintbrush. I'm just going to do a quick swatch again of this black 3.0, just in case it was my paintbrush, because it's not something I was expecting. Yeah, no, it wasn't my paintbrush. We'll see what it's like when it's dry, but... It's definitely not what I was expecting. I don't want to say I'm disappointed, but I'm not as kind of... My first impressions, I'm not overly excited. I, I don't have the same feelings I did when I swatched the 2.0. But we'll paint this side of the ball and see what happens with this. It just doesn't seem as full coverage. It's Every time I go over it, it's taken more of the paint off. And maybe I've been given a dodgy one, I'm not sure. I know it's obviously a handmade paint, like you can see it close up. 
where the, it's patchy and you can see the brush strokes. That didn't happen with the 2.0. And that doesn't happen with the 2.0. That's why I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed with it. I just don't want to slag it off because I really enjoyed the last one. So I feel very conflicted. But I do want to be fair as well. I'm struggling to cover this ball entirely. It just, it's taking the paint off as I'm going over it. Which it shouldn't be doing. See it says apply two thin coats on shiny surfaces. Neither of these things are shiny surfaces, so I shouldn't have to apply two coats. I'm gonna have a quick look at the website, just in case I'm missing something. I don't wanna proper go in on it if I'm doing something wrong. So it says on the website how to use it. It just says it's simply a paint, so it's super easy. You literally just brush it on. It will handle a bit different than your other paints, but you'll get used to it. Oh, here. Vitally important, be sure to wet your brushes well with water before painting with 3.0. The golden rule is two to three thin layers allowing to dry between coats is way better than thick layers. So build it up carefully and slowly. A couple of thin coats rather than one big thick gloopy one. I didn't read that bit. I have to thin it out with water and build it up in several layers. It's a bit of a pain in the ass though, like who wants to do that? Add a little bit of water to this one to try and rescue the swatch a little bit. Yeah, mixing it with a little tiny bit of water, it helps a lot. It just smooths it out a lot. I knew there was something I was doing wrong. But also you really shouldn't have on the website how to use it. It's simply a pain, so it's super easy. You literally just brush it on. It will handle a bit different than your other paints, but you'll get used to it. But then underneath, it tells you all these instructions that you need to do to make the paint work. Right, I'll try and rescue this with a bit of water as well. Yeah, adding a little bit of water has helped out a ton. It's turned it way smoother, way more full coverage. You can't see the brush strokes anymore, and it's not lifting up the paint anymore. It's just a shame that the 2.0, I didn't have to do that. In the 3.0, you do have to do that. So I don't know how I feel about that. Well, I do know how I feel about that. I'm upset about it, okay? I'm only gonna do one coat though. I'm not gonna do loads of coats because when I did the 2.0, I only did one coat of that. <sighs> what a chew on. Always read the instructions. Right, so what I'll do is I'll leave that all to one side. I'll let it fully dry and then we can go over the results together and see what this paint it's actually ended up looking like. Right, okay, I'm back and the results are in. Okay, so we have the black 2.0 here on this side and we have the black 3.0 here. And as you can see, they're both very matte and very black. But to be fair, I don't know whether I can see a ginormous difference. I think when it was really mixed down with water, I think you've got a lot of lines and a lot of... It's just not as full coverage as the black 2.0 and it doesn't seem to be as smooth. When the brush is wet and you apply the paint like you're supposed to, it does work quite nicely and it's slightly like a darker, deeper black than the 2.0 is. But there's not a huge difference at all. And one thing I'll have to mention as well, which I was pretty shocked about. So black 2.0 is this one here. I can run my finger across it and nothing will come off. It's dry. The black 3.0, it's fully dry. It leaves residue on your hand. It's almost like charcoal and it, it just leaves it everywhere. It transfers, which is very unusual for a paint to do. Really weird. We've got the ball test here. And as you can see, this is the black 3.0. And this is the black 2.0. And I think the black 3.0, it feels more velvety. It gives more of a velvety finish to it. Whereas the black 2.0 feels more like a chalkboard finish. And I think on a 3D object, I can see that it is darker than the 2.0. I'm finding it difficult because I don't know whether I actually like the paint. It was three pound more expensive than the 2.0. The 3.0 does suck in a lot more light, but it leaves residue which is strange. I don't like the fact that you have to wet your brushes or mix it with a little bit of water for it to apply smoothly and that you have to double up the layers in order for it to work properly. Whereas the black 2.0, you don't get any of them problems at all. And you'll know that if you watched my last video. Yeah, so it's three pound more expensive than this one. And I just don't think it's worth an extra three pound. I almost hope I've got like a dodgy batch or something.
but I'd be really interested to know if you've ever used the 3.0 and whether you had a different experience to what I had because maybe I just got like a strange tube and uh, like a dodgy batch or something I don't know but based on this tube here that I got today I wouldn't recommend it but I definitely would recommend the black 2.0 but if you did enjoy today's video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you on Friday for a brand new video bye